now from South Seminole Academy in Castleberry, Florida. Direct from the third floor of building number three, this is South Seminole News. Good morning, Hurricanes. Happy Thursday. I'm Christina. And I'm Paige. It's April 15th, 2021. Now, welcome to South Seminole News. At this time, please stand for the pledge. Now let's check in for the daily report. Good morning everyone. Today's lunch special is spaghetti and meat sauce with broccoli and garlic breadstick. All meals include fruit, vegetables, milk or juice. And now the lunchroom. Now in the lunchroom, Red Apple Dining will offer the new spicy chicken sandwich. At this time, Mr. Motley would like you to email him with the storm definition. His email is at the bottom of the screen. If the first the first 25 students who answer correctly will receive hero points. Good luck, Hurricanes! That's all for today's report. If you or your class would like to record anything here in the South Seminole Lounge for Friday show, please contact the newsroom. We will see you next time. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks! You'll find more news from the South Seminole Lounge every week on the Friday afternoon show. And now we take you to Mertz MVP with Mr. Mertz. Good morning, Hurricanes. I'm here today with Mertz's MVP segment, and I got a very special guest, sixth grader, Breon Logan. Welcome, Breon. Thank you for having me. Well, it's, um, it's an honor for me to select you for the week, and I just want to let all the Hurricanes, the students, the staff know. Um, I had chosen Breon because <clears throat> since he's entered our school here as a sixth grader this year, he's shown tremendous character, um, just tremendous friendship, um, doing the right thing all the time. If ever I or any staff members have to correct Breon for something, he's he responds in a positive manner. Yes, sir. No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Like, um, just been awesome all year. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for hurricanes that want to be leaders, hurricanes that are here to learn, hurricanes that are here to have good relationships. So Breon has shown that since he's entered our campus, and me personally, I'm very grateful and honored to have him as Mertz's MVP for the week. So Breon, I want everyone to get to know a little bit about you. Um, so first question I always like to ask is, um, what's your favorite thing about South Seminole since you've been here and why? Well, my favorite thing about South Seminole is the vibes sometimes. Um, there's a lot of good teachers and students that like to have fun with the school and the learning processes. Like, I like how Ms. Taramona would do, like, I ready things with us and cahoots and stuff and all that kind of things. Like, I like the learning processes that they have here. Makes learning fun and yeah. creates a real good culture within the classroom. Shout out to Miss Taramona. Way to go. Speaking of teachers, who's your favorite teacher here so far um, and why? Oh, my God. I have, like, three favorite ones. <laughs> I can't even choose. So uh, so name all three. Who are who are all three? Okay, well, no. Four. Four. Okay. So I have Miss Whistles Alley, Miss mm -hmm. Taramona, Miss Crum, and Miss Tillman. Awesome. Those are my awesome. favorite teachers here. All right, way to go, teachers, building those good relationships, and uh, I know it's a pleasure to have Breon in class. And my third and final question, let everybody know, um, who is your role model and why? Well, my role model would probably be my mom because, well, pretty much all my whole entire life, I've been a latchkey kid, you know, like uh, I've been home alone without her. And she came home one day and she said, I quit my job so I can be with you. Aww. And that just made me like really happy because I hardly ever got to see her. I only saw her for like an hour a day and then I had to go to bed or something. So she's probably my role model because she's been strong for me and my two little brothers. That is, uh, that, that touches the heart and, and that's just awesome. I could just tell you have a very, very good, strong mother. Um, just the way you present yourself, the way you carry yourself day to day. And uh, it's been a pleasure uh, knowing you so far this year and, and watching you grow. So I look forward to the next two years with you, Breon. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is just one well-spoken, uh, well-spoken, great, great, smart kid here. So uh, teachers, hopefully you get him. If you don't have him this year, hopefully you get him next year or in eighth grade. 
Well, that's all we have for you for Mertz's MVP. And like we always like to say at the end, don't forget the storm. Thanks, Mr. Merck. So you can find his segment in all of our YouTube, all of our videos on YouTube.com slash so Southland News. Congratulations to our JV and varsity basketball teams for the victory last night against Millwee. Look for highlights of our game during the Friday afternoon show. You can find all of our home games at YouTube.com slash so Southland News and also the live broadcast. Next week, the girls will be home against Jackson Heights starting at 445 after school. Good luck, Hurricanes. A message from Latinos in Action Club. They're collecting donations to help children with leukemia. If you would like to help, ask your first period teacher if they have a hero basket in their classroom. If they don't, you can, they can contact Ms. Dariol and they will provide one for you. Hero buckets will be picked up once a week and the first period class with the most donations get an Epinata party. The PBS Academy will be delivering boxes for recycling, paper recycling this week. If you would like a recycling block, box, please see Mr. Motley. Boxes will be picked up every Friday. A message from the SSA yearbook and staff. You can still pre-order your yearbook at www.jossens.com for the price of $40 until April 30th. We are going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we'll tell you about one final chance for picture day. Once again, at this time, Mr. Motley would like you to email him with, storm, with the storm definition. His email is at the bottom of the screen. The first 25 students to answer correctly will receive hero points. Good luck, Hurricanes. We'll be right back after this. Uno, we are Latinas in action. Lattice in Action is organized in a fundraising to help people with leukemia. And the classroom that raises more money will have a empanada party. Be a hero. We need you. Donate. Good morning, Hurricanes. It's Jackie here with Jeremiah's. I just want to let you guys know that this month on April 21st, it's a Wednesday, head on out to Jeremiah's Italian Ice of Castleberry and come say hi to me and my team, and 20% will get donated back to your school. I'll see you there. Be sure to look for a new segment every day of the week here on South Seminole News. On Monday, we get a special message from our principal, Dr. Coleman, with Mindset Monday with Dr. C. On Tuesday, we have Hurricane Smiles with Miss Car Chaffee and a new special guest every week. Wednesday gives us Win Win Wednesday with Miss Reed. Thursday is Mertz's MVP with Mr. Mertz and his Student of the Week choice. At the end of the week, we get Fabulous Friday with Miss Mafoos. And as always, look for the Dean's Den with Mr. Fernandez and Miss Pearson on the Friday afternoon show. Look for all of these segments on our page at youtube.com slash news. Thank you. Welcome back. Students, stop by the Media Center and take a look at the free book section near the front door. New books are added every week and all students are welcome to stop by and take a look. And speaking of books, congratulations to these students that competed in the Read to Lead competition. Students spend the last eight weeks reading books in the Sunshine State list. They stayed after school twice a week and worked hard to prepare. Congratulations, Hurricanes. A reminder to parents and students that you may vote on the Teacher of the Month by clicking on this QR code here up on the screen. You can pause this video or go to our YouTube page to scan this image. Congratulations to Ms. McElroy for being this month's winner. My Life Touch is offering one last chance to, at their local to take pictures this school year. No appointment is necessary. Just come down to the studio this Saturday, April 17th from 9 a.m. until noon. The address is at the bottom of the screen. Also, these pictures are not for your book. Once these, these are for packages only. Remember to bring your money in order form. Check mylifetouch.com to print out your order. A message from Ms. Ellerby. The school store is now open and you may purchase candies, chips, cookies, and more in room 240. You must have a signed pass to purchase anything from the store during lunches. Also, you may purchase before the class of the day and in the mornings. Once again, that is, room, that is in room 240. Attention students, if you, are, if you enjoy other, helping others or are interested, in a teacher in the future, please consider joining our Future Educators of America Leadership Academy for next year. You can stop by the front office today if, to sign up if you're interested. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Reed in the front office. Attention parents, if you would like to purchase a graduation sign for your yard, please scan this QR code. 
You have three different styles to choose from. After you make the purchase, the PTSA will contact you for delivery options. You can pause this video and scan the QR code to take, the PTA, to take you to the PTSA store for your selection. Congratulations to these students for their winning at the, at the Beta State Competition. If you see them, make sure, that, make sure that you let them know. Lara came in second with 8th grade math. Melania, Melania. Melena was in second place for performing arts. Sophia was in second in color pho photography. Michaela came in third place with sculpture. Haley came in first with mixed media. And Amy also came in first with painting in the be in Best in Show. Once again, congratulations, Hurricanes. Attention, 8th graders. If you have not completed your career path for next year, you must complete this now. Students who do not complete their career plan will not be promoted to ninth grade. Please check your school email with important information on how to complete your career plan. That's all for today. Make sure to check us out on Instagram and YouTube at South Seminole News and don't, forget to, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, please like the South Seminole Academy and PTSA Facebook pages for more info. And there is still time for Mr. And there is still time Mr. Molly would like you to inf would like you to email him with the, with the storm definition. His email is at the bottom of the screen for the first 25 students that answer collect correctly will receive hero points. Good luck, Hurricanes. And students, every day here at Salisman Academy, we strive for success, take responsibility, opt to lead, respect others, and make good choices. Thanks for watching. I'm Paige. And I'm Christina. Have a great Thursday, and don't, don't forget, forget the storm! storm.